Welcome to Pondy Education. My name is Yolan, and I'd like to share an artificial intelligence tool that makes reading Chinese comprehensible. At the end of this video, you will be able to instantly level any content using an artificial intelligence tool, automatically transform any content into interactive online learning modules, and make reading Chinese comprehensible. So how do we make authentic content not only accessible, but comprehensible? Introducing Pondy Reader. With Pondy Reader, you can find any content online or submit your own content, whether you are a teacher or a student, or find content in the Pondy Library. Let's start by going online to search for some content. I'm going to go to a new site to find an article. Here's one that looks interesting. I'm going to start by copying the title. And then I'm going to add a new content. So here's the title I'm going to put in. I'm going to choose an image file to associate with this document. And then I'm going to reference where I got this article from. Now I'm going to go back to the article and cut and paste. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to cut and paste it here. If I wanted to record my own audio or had an audio file that I wanted to associate with this content, I could upload it here. Next, I'm going to suggest a tag. And I want to do this so that I'll be able to find it later on. This is an article about architecture, so I'm going to put that in as a tag. And it's also about Liang Sicheng. And now I'm going to accept the terms and conditions and submit it. And the system is now processing, and it has already leveled it at level three. Pondi aligns to national and international standards. So we can see what Pondi level three means by going up into our avatar here and looking at the Pondi leveling system. If we click on the level chart, we see that level three equates to Actual Intermediate High, HSK5, CEFR B1, TOCFL B1, or ILR. We can set the default character system to be either simplified or traditional. Now, if I go back and look at the card associated with this content, you can see the title, you can see the tags that I put in, and if I look under Level Merit, you can see the distribution of the difficulty level of the vocabulary found within the text. And now I can click on Read More. This takes us into the content, and you can see now that Pinyin has been automatically added and we can turn this on or off. We can compare traditional and simplified characters at any point in time. And you will also see that these words are underlined, and the color of the underline refers to the level of the vocabulary. So we can think of it the level, the greens as being novice, the blues as being intermediate level, and the pinks and purple as being advanced. We can now click on any of these underlined words to open up a dashboard that shows powerful language learning tools. You can see here that there is a dictionary with audio Zai. and a definition, along with sample sentences by level. And anytime you see these level buttons, they can be turned on or off. The Pondy Reader Artificial Intelligence Engine combines machine learning and natural language processing to find co-locations of word, character, and radicals. If we click on Word Pond, we see here the co-location of this word along with others. The colors, again, refer to the level, but the size of the bubble relates to the frequency. So we can turn off some of these bubbles. 
if we want to focus on intermediate and novice level words. Again, the size of the bubble means the more, the bigger the bubble is, the more frequent you're going to come across it. And the arrows indicate collocation, whether it's in front of or behind, and its proximity. So this is a combination that you're going to see much more often than this. Character pawn shows stroke order, and it shows how this character combined with other characters can build words. Radical pawn shows us that how combining this element with other components, we can comprise characters. So radical pawn helps us to form characters. Character pawn helps us to build words or vocabulary. And word pawn helps us to build phrases and sentences. You can go into the vocabulary tab to see a list of the words inside of the article. You can see that we're, we have photo vocabulary here and we are starting to add that for all of the words. You can now listen to the word, Japan. see it, see the definition, along with the photo vocabulary. Whether you are a student or a teacher, Pondy Reader is a valuable tool. Let's explore now how Pondy Reader can make teaching more effective. What you see here is normal view. In normal view, we can see everything. Under key view, what we can do is we can select focused vocabulary and grammar. So let's start by editing key vocabulary. Underneath here, you see, again, the levels of the different words. So if we wanted to, we could identify the more advanced words and we can click on the ones that we want our students to focus on. And then I can go down and save that. So in normal view, the student sees everything. But in key view, only the words that are underlined are the words that are selected by the instructor. So now we have automatically created a focused vocabulary list with those vocabulary selected, highlighted. Next, we can edit key grammar. Inside of here, what we can do is at the end of each sentence, artificial intelligence identifies grammar points found within there. So I can click on this G and it'll show me different grammar points. And if I want to see what that grammar point looks like, I can click on the little arrow. It gives me a description along with audio and sample sentences on how that grammar point is used. And I can choose to select that. And then I can go and find other grammar points. And in this case, I may want to select this one and this one. And I will go ahead and save that. And so now in key view, a student can see the focused vocabulary as they're reading and they can automatically see the grammar point that the teacher has selected for them. And they can click on that to learn more. A teacher may also want to add additional resources. And here you can see that we can add resources. You can add text, PDF, pictures, audio, or video. So I might want to add some comprehension questions here. And they might be something like, and these can be typed in English or in Chinese. And you can submit that, and then you will have comprehension questions. I can also add other resources. So I'm going to just go to Google Images and look for some images. And so what I can do now with Reader is I can upload a picture. Oops.
and I can submit that. And I want to also upload a more ancient times example, so I can choose the file. And I also want to upload a video, so I'm just going to go to YouTube and do a search. Uh, this looks like a good one to me. I'm going to copy the link. I put in the video here. I submit that. And now I have not only the article, but I have some supporting documentation to go along with it to put it in context. And I can also move these around in here. And now what I can do is I can simply click on Share, and it automatically generates a QR code that is shared with the student or whoever I send the link to. Or I can copy and paste this link so if I'm using Google Classroom or um, Blackboard or another learning management system, I can simply put that into the system or I can email the link to the student. And once the student received this link, then they will automatically have access to this entire pondlet, we call it, that we just created. And if you remember, we started with a newspaper article that our students may or may not be able to read. And now we have turned it into an interactive online learning module. Now let's take a look at how we might use Pondy Reader if we were a student. We have three different libraries here called My Pondlet, Shared With Me, and Pondy Library. Shared With Me is where if you were the recipient of the QR code that we just generated or the link, anything that you received would go into the Shared With Me library. So in here you can see some articles that were either shared with me or that I, I took from the Pondy library to into my Shared With Me library. Here is an article that a student wrote and what is very interesting to me is that I can already see that it's Pondy level 2 which is going to be at an intermediate low to mid level so I already know the student is writing at that level. If I click on Level Merit, I can see that the student is using some more advanced vocabulary, and I'm very happy to see that. And now I can actually go in and take a look at that. So here, the student has shared an example of their writing with me, and I can see her writing. And I've also asked her to upload her own audio narration. So now I have an example of the student's writing and along with their oral reading. But if I wanted to, if I'm a student and I'm, I submit this into Pondy Reader, I might want to go and look at WordPond to come and up with different phrases and sentences. I, also, I have an indication of what level I'm writing at as well. As a student, I could also go into the Pondy Library to find additional articles. So if I am at level um, intermediate, I might turn these off so that I can find content at my level. And if I'm interested in finding something about travel, I would be able to look for content that was at, about travel and at my level. And I would be able to preview the content and if I'm interested in it, I can add that content to my shared library. But I now have the ability to go and find any article that is interesting to me and to be able to cut and paste it into Pondy Reader to create a Pondlet and I would be able to read that with or without my teacher's assistance. Pondy Reading can make teaching more effective and can make learning more efficient. Please go to reader.pondy.com to create your free account, or you can 
upgrade to a standard account to access more features. You can also join our WeChat group and contact us with any questions. Thank you for your time.